Whether or not the Mayans actually intended for it to be interpreted as the end of the world, I don't, I don't think that was the, the intention at all. But what it has given everybody is a focus and a kind of a deadline. We are going through a transformation as a species right now because at an evolutionary level we've hit a ceiling. It's not complicated. The, the problems that we face aren't complicated at one level. Uh, they're very simple, I think, which is just that, the, that we've disconnected ourselves from the natural world in some way. Even though we are a part of the natural world, we have disconnected ourselves and we've started to take a path where we believe that we'll find fulfillment and happiness by having more and more stuff. Those that are above shall come down. Those that are below shall rise up. The land shall all unite and the wall shall stand upright. After 2012, there will be a new human that has established itself on the earth firmly, decisively, irrevocably. And I think that's what the crop circles are telling us. Wake up, humanity. Get your act together. Start growing emotionally. Start growing spiritually. Start treating the earth and each other differently. Because it's time. It's about time. We live in a time in our modern world where Mother Earth is calling to us and we are yearning for her. And, and I'm watching the news, I'm watching the cyclones and I'm watching the earthquakes and I'm watching all the earth changes. But you know, that isn't coming out of nowhere. That's coming out of us. We, we're, we're sad. There's so many people on Earth that are wanting change and we don't know how to do it any other way. We're picking this cataclysmic type thing. And all we can speak is the language of disconnection because we are disconnected. We want to be open. We want to connect with people. We want to feel that unconditional love that is out there. We've just forgotten how to, how to be it. Human beings seem to be preoccupied with subjects that aren't really helpful to be preoccupied about. And if you doubt this, just go through the programming schedule on the television. The wisdom of it is that the Earth is our mother and she gives birth to us. And we don't treat our mother very well sometimes. It's about falling in love. It's like a love story. Human beings falling in love with Mother Earth, with nature, with the animals, with themselves, and with the magic of life itself. Because that's what's going to save the planet. Thank you.